Okay guys, first things first, gotta start out by making the adobo sauce, or at least the base for it. So here we go. Here's some Filipino vinegar. Here's some lightly cracked pepper. A couple of bay leaves. Filipino soy sauce, you can get this stuff at the Asian market. You can use other styles, but I'm sticking strictly to traditional ingredients here. A little bit of water. I'm going to heat this up, I'm going to give it a quick stir, I'm going to bring it up to a boil, then I'm going to turn it down to a simmer for about 15 minutes, and start on the chicken. Okay, I've brought the adobo base liquid, the base of the sauce, to a boil and now it's down to a simmer, and I need to cover it for about 15 minutes, but before I do that, I'm going to add some slivered ginger to it just a little bit okay and to that I'm also gonna add some garlic okay just a little bit okay. there's gonna be more in the recipe when it hits the pan but I'm just putting a little bit of garlic in there to flavor it up okay now to add a little extra flavor to the base before I put the chicken in this pan I'm going to brown up some garlic Okay and some cooking oil. Please do not use olive oil for this recipe. This is not an Italian recipe. On a medium heat, I'm going to cook up this garlic. For about five minutes, I'm going to brown it. And I'm going to add some slivered ginger to the pan as well. Now, if you notice, there was some caramelization at the bottom of the pan. And that caramelization is from some onions that I browned up that will be added to the sauce near the end. Okay, the garlic and the ginger is just browning, and now I'm going to lay down some chicken thighs and chicken legs that I brined 24 hours in a simple brine, and that brine will be on my blog, okay? I'm going to put the chicken down skin first. Okay, while the chicken is browning, oh, and smelling good, I'm just going to add a little bit of paprika to my adobo. Okay. There we go. Not so much for flavor as it's going to be for color. The paprika being a throwback to the Spanish version of adobo. And I'm just going to let this brown. Okay, the chicken is browning nicely. You just want a nice light brown. And on top of that chicken, I'm going to add some caramelized onions that I made prior. That's why this pan was caramelized. Okay, you put that on top. And slowly, I'm going to add our stew base, our stock base. There we go. I love it when it does that. Okay. Slowly but surely. Get it all in there. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to let this simmer for about 30 minutes on low. And then we are going to have some chicken adobo. Okay, guys, it's going to take about 30 minutes, depending on the size of your pan, how much chicken. It's going to take about 30 minutes for that adobo chicken to finish cooking. So right now, I'm cooking some pearled rice, some sushi rice, okay? Lino told me that you could use jasmine or regular white rice, but the texture is not quite right for adobo. He told me that using pearled rice has the right texture and sucks up the juices of the gravy really well. So get yourself some pearled rice and follow the instructions on the package. That's what I'm making here, some Botan pearled rice. I just had to take the cover off and let you see this stewing in action. It's beautiful. It's got a lovely color. The chicken's browned. I have it on the lowest simmer point you can use, so it should only bubble up slightly. 
because this is a very slow cooking dish because when it's all done that meat's gonna fall right off the bone it smells wonderful in here it smells of onion and garlic and ginger and the bay leaves and I just wanted to give you a peek I'm gonna put the lid back on there wait for the rice to finish and then we're gonna have some chicken adobo all right guys there it is chicken adobo my way and I'm gonna plate some up right now and then we'll have a look okay guys there it is chicken adobo lovely browned and braised chicken rice garlic ginger pepper the other spices I put in salt pepper and these six little puppies over here those are hard-boiled quail eggs that I boiled in water peeled and then I cooked in some of the gravy from the adobo so you see how it took on the color of the gravy and a couple of spring onions as a side garnish. I hope you make this.